Okay guys, what's up? Um, Fedora Linux 41 beta has been released and goodbye Nabora for temporary measures until it updates and we're going to be moving over to this. Now, for some reason, there's no release of Fedora everything. Not that I can see anyway. And F5 is here. Let's go over this real quick. Um, Valkyrie changes are, sorry, Valky change it replaces Redis. I don't know what that is. Python 2 is dead. Proprietary driver installation with secure boot, which is great. Uh, nice. DNF5 is here, which is brilliant. DNF5 and boot C with image mode Fedora variants. RPM 420 is here under the hood. Low level package management tool also gets a new release and brings new features to Fedora Vela development. Um, what does it says? Users won't see a direct impact immediately, but this update will help spring the... Basically, it's really fast. There you go. Build progress. Cool. Cool. There's a mobile spin. LXQT 2.0 is included. A numerical spin. Missing spins. A technical glitch means that there's a blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's, that's, that's sad. But, uh, yeah. Let's grab this one right here so fedora 41 beta let's hit download it's downloading we're gonna put it on the usb drive with fetroy and basically we're going to try our best to just boot it up and make things work because that's what we do and hopefully the issues with davinci's resolve are fixed because if they are then oh we're going to be live streaming from this for a fair bit until I've tested the hell out of it, I guess. Where is it? Oh, there's the unconfirmed download. And the unconfirmed download has now turned into a full download. And ISO. All right, I need to get rid of a few things. Like you. Uh, you. 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 Oh, and definitely you. No. You. No, that was a horrible alpha. That was low normal standards of what a normal alpha should be like. Serpent OS, pretty damn stable in its alpha form. That, no. Alright, so we got it on the drive. All we have to do is boot the drive like a normal drive, and we're good to go, and we can start installing this. The installation process is exactly like normal Fedora 40, okay? There's nothing to see. There's nothing impressive about the installer. We're going to go in, we're going to completely wipe up Nabora, and then I will see you on the desktop once I get OBS installed. Uh, we'll basically do everything from scratch like we normally do, and we'll truly test this beta out, okay? Promise. Alright, see you soon. Okay, so we're in Fedora 41 right now. Here we are. Uh, this is the wallpaper. It looks kind of cool. Uh, I like it a lot more than the old one anyway, and I'm sure someone's going to whine and complain about it. They always do. There's always a baby in the crowd. And this is the new terminal that is actually included, by the way. So this is Pyrax. Y'all remember this, right? Uh, this is basically the one that I've been using. And it's just called Terminal here, thankfully. So this seems to be included now with fedora which is really 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 great and one of the best decisions i mean that they possibly could have made like this terminal is incredible anyway enough about the terminal we need to start setting things up yes we do so i need to go and log into discord because again for those who don't know we have tips and tricks and it is fedora 41 ready so i'm going to go over to discord and we're going to get started here real quickly with everything. And sudo dnf install kernel headers. That way we have that. We don't need anything else. But we will be installing the uh, cache OS settings at least. Because why not? Let's do that. And I will try to edit this up the best that I can for you guys. I am watching OBS constantly instead of just hoping that it's going to behave itself because believe it or not it never behaves itself 
regenerate all. And that should do it because I want to stay on the 6.11 kernel. All right, that's the end of that. And, uh, well, that's what we're going to do. And next, what we're going to do is actually install the NVIDIA drivers. So 560.35.03 uh, right now. In fact, the minute this is done. Okay, because it's super important. I want to get that done. And we're going to do it in a new way, which is kind of fun. Wget is going to grab the driver. I've checked. There's no new ones. And I know you can't see anything. I just realized that. Sorry. Sometimes when I'm working like this on a new OS, I can just be super blind and get everything done that I need to. We're going to install the dependencies to make sure the driver just works its best. And yes. So all of this is available in my Discord in the Linux Tips and Tricks channel. You'll see installing 560.35.03 drivers on Fedora. That's the NVIDIA drivers. And it now works on 41, so it's completely fine. But uh, this, hopefully, is going to work the way I want it to. The last time I tried it, it worked fine. So it should be good now. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, everything looks good. There's the 6.11 devil stuff that we need, or devil, or dev. We're just going to go with dev. Bison, flex, all that's being installed. That's good. Yep. And running post install scriptlet. Oh, it's called a scriptlet. That's adorable. I love that. That's actually pretty adorable. And it's done. Great. So now... We're going to do sudo password new new done su password clear and if we do ls there's the nvidia driver so now if we do chmod plus n we have now made it so the nvidia driver can run we do uh, dot slash nvidia this might go out of date Huh. Oh, my bad. I forgot the X again. What is my brain doing? Some days I wonder, are you even functioning today? Anyway, there we go. All right, we're going to try this. Ready? So we're going to go with the MIT. Don't you be freezing on me. Okay, great. And now we're going to be going with continuing installation. It really does not want to focus. You know what I'm going to do instead to make it focus? is we're going to open up and we're going to select the terminal instead which seems to make it work yes we still want to do this yes we still want to continue the installation and again it's so freaking messed up looking and i know this isn't my fault there that's a lot better we're getting a coding overload or skipping here well it didn't exactly record what I just did. We installed the NVIDIA driver, we basically selected MIT, that part recorded, and then we ended up selecting continue, 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 32-bit stuff, DKMS. I hate that it just won't let us ever properly record this stuff. It's so annoying. And then what I did is I installed SSDM, installed the Breeze stuff for it. I disabled GDM, I enabled SSDM. We're gonna reboot now for the NVIDIA drivers. Well, we're back and the NVIDIA drivers installed and everything is working as you can see, perfectly fine, uh, which is pretty good. We had a random phantom display show up, which normally happens. SSDM completely worked, we're still in Wayland. And well, we're halfway there to what I want to do and to be done. So far so good. What I want to check is what version of GNOME we're on, because it's supposed to be 47. And we're gonna do fast fetch. We are on the final version of GNOME 47. Thank you, that's what I want. That is indeed what I want. Now, I spent quite a bit of time with the GNOME extensions, testing each and every single one of them. 99% of them just needed a simple adding of 47 into the metadata.json. And I did some of that with pull requests on some of them, like making sure that Forge continues, even though it was no longer being maintained. So you guys get Forge. And now what I want to do. So for this next part, well, 
we're basically going to just skip ahead. You get to be off scot-free. So I noticed one thing was missing, and that is right-click open in terminal. So we're going to just basically do install.sh for Nautilus open in Pegasus. I don't know how to say it. CD package name install yada 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 yada. Oh, all right. Interesting. So it just installs a bunch of stuff. So if I go into the home folder and there's supposed to be a file in here, this one, all we really have to do is just move it. Really? My brain's not working well today. And Nautilus Q, open up. And there we go. So now we can do that. Now, as this is GNOME 47, some things have changed. I don't have the lights here or anything like that because currently White Sur isn't updated yet enough for it. But uh, as you can see, we are able to apply uh, accent colors, which is really nice. And yeah, I think I messed that up by applying it wrong. I think uh, legacy applications is what should be. Is it just like this? And this is just default yes okay it's a bit sad but it is what it is but we are able to individually install the dash thing i believe for white sir uh let me see where's the tweaks oh you can do flat pack overrides cool i did not know that saw the theme color red all yada 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 let's tweak tweak options firefox theme. god no GDM themes. Darken the background. Don't blur the background. Yeah, I just want to override for the dock. Okay, so there are options here. I'm just reading real quick on what I can do. Blur, background, panel, panel size, icons. Uh, yeah, okay. Dash to dock. Dash D. All right. No, no, that uh, that made my dock really ugly. Well, I'm kind of stuck with this for a bit, so that's sad. Uh, I did revert it. Let's see if this helps. Yeah, that definitely did not help. So we're gonna install a few things. So no, I keep forgetting to maximize the window and zoom in for you guys sudo dnf install steam lutris game scope mango hud and i believe that should be it i don't need anything else hopefully it won't end up kicking me out while i'm recording because that would suck it's known to do that lots of failures in the mirrors for some reason but it bypasses them which is fine i'll need to Go and report that issue. Yeah. So if you're wondering why I used the dot run to install the NVIDIA drivers real quick, I want to go over that and reiterate that with you. It's more seamless and it doesn't have the same issues as, uh, you know, uh, the repo way. Because the repo way you have to rebuild ACK mods and run draw cod after every kernel update and this one just automatically does everything for you sure it doesn't show up on the installed packages list but that's not a thing that bothers me if that bothers you your memory's a little bit weird i'm gonna be honest with you all right there we go oh just so ugly like how how and why why are you this way my fault it is you know what for now i want to try something there we're gonna leave it like that just for now even though it means no accent colors which i'm kind of okay with huh. all right so we have steam installed that's great that can go here Lutris can go here we still need to grab the Heroic Game Launcher. Because that's important. Heroic Game Launcher. And we can grab the RPM of that. Hopefully a new one's out. We don't have any issues with conflicting stuff. 
again for the millionth time. Let's see, install, do your thing, and, and, we're good to go on that front. Yeah, that's because it, the application is basically rebuilding and the configs and stuff. It happens. Sorry about that. I hate that that happens. It even happens on KDE and it's so annoying. I really need to fix that. 19 hours ago, update binaries. Release tag. Okay. So hopefully there's a new version coming soon because I don't think we can install desktop now. But what we can do is flat pack install desktop. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Installation is about to be complete. And done. Great. Oh, I hate that fucking icon. It pisses me off so much. Like, so widely used. And you got the ugliest icon in the whole universe. Do better, guys. Do better. There's the Fedora logo. And I actually want to make that just a bit bigger. Yeah, and I also want to do that. So we're pretty much all caught up. Uh, I'll just have to auto mount some stuff now, I guess. Uh, I have a video on how to auto mount things, but for the purpose of this video, I will show you how to do the auto mounting. So first things first, go in here, on click session default, click OK. And I don't need you auto mounted for any reason. You are you. You're asleep. I'm not even sure I should mess with you because you're asleep, but I'm going to do it anyway. There's my Switch games. And we're going to auto mount you as well. That's where I got Bloodborne. And we're going to auto mount you. As long as it goes to mount slash backup, it's pretty much good to go. And that's it. So now all we need to do is just go into each one of these and activate it, I guess. Like that. Ah. Uh, backup's good? Nope, you do not have permission. Okay, so we still have permission issues, which is not a problem at all. Because we can easily just do this. And once that's finished, it shouldn't take very long. I don't have very many contents. Same goes for in here. And I'm actually going to stop that and just take ownership anyway. And just in case there's an issue on this drive, we're going to also take ownership. This one should be nearly instant. Yeah, done. And mount. Mount. Mount that one. And mount that one. Great. So now when we go in here... We can view the contents and the contents and the contents and yeah we're pretty much set up so we're now on fedora 41 it seems pretty stable so far which is nice but time will of course tell if it is or not so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set the Temperature that moves the most, which is usually about, no, it's definitely not 36C. It would more likely be about here. So that's my CP, that's my CPU. And temperature of my GPU. I can also set it's power draw if I wanted to. Yeah, but I don't want to. And I also want to put this stuff in the middle. Yay, we're centered. I have everything I need. 
thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe i'll try to live stream on this tonight i'll get all that set up and i'll see you guys next time bye everybody